It's kind of a complex system here because we not only maintain our potable uh, drinking water, we maintain the wastewater treatment facility and then we also take care of a separate, uh, total separate irrigation system for the 7,000 water and sewer customers. So we provide a service that not a lot of other municipalities serve. SCADA is a very vital part of our job. We have to monitor a lot of key elements and also we, gotta, we have to protect the environment so that uh, lift stations don't overflow if you have a power outage or some kind of mechanical failure. You've got to be able to monitor these lift stations and be able to respond in an adequate amount of time to keep them from overflowing and then contaminating the uh, environment. So we take pride in that. They operate five different processes, which are their RO plant, their wastewater plant, their lift station collection system, their stormwater control system, and their reuse distribution system to the community. We were looking for years and years at somebody that could provide us a more well-rounded uh, system. We, we were just not happy with all of the uh, system limitations that the current provider gave us. The district expressed a major concern about the overall cost of the current products that they're using. They asked directly, you know, are there any other products out there that can meet our needs? you know, that are, are going to take away some of the limitations that we're currently experiencing with the product we're using now and, and provide the growth, you know, and the flexibility that we're looking for moving forward down the road. You know, so I, I was tasked with going out and putting on the consulting hat and doing some homework and looking around and seeing what was out in the marketplace. You know, uh, I went back through my emails and up pops these guys from California, this Java base package, and the ignition software kept rising to the top. It, it met the requirements for scalability. It met the requirements for functionality. It could coexist with the existing installed base, which in any kind of a retrofit scenario is very important. It minimizes the cost of the overall project. With the, the oncoming of technology for mobile devices, iPads, iPhones, you know, the, the district wanted to embrace some of that technology and that kind of portability, and they needed a package that was going to take them in that direction. So it was a good choice. The new system has probably been up and running probably a little over a year now, maybe a year and a half. It's been a very flawless uh, system after we uh, uh, got it up and running. We haven't had any uh, errors in the system. It's been very uh, performing very good. And obviously for water and sewer needs, you need something that's reliable. You can't uh, have something uh, failing on you. And, and of course, if you want to keep expanding and staying up with technology, uh, you need a system that can support that. And that's what we were looking at is something that could uh, meet our needs for not just now, but in the future. So Inductive uh, provided that for us. Uh, when you look at utilities statewide, I would say this place ranks in the top 10 as the level of automation that they've adopted over the years. We did their RO plant process uh, last year. I believe we spoke right as the project was getting ready to go to the field. And the startup for that was about middle of January of last year, of this year. So we finished the project right around the end of January. It's been in production ever since. We actually did some upgrade and revision to the PLC programming at the time that we implemented Ignition and it brought the level of functionality up several notches from where it was originally. So in the new implementation of Ignition for, say, the RO plant, the old system had roughly 2,000, 2,300 tags. The new system has roughly 7,500 tags. Okay, which one of the big advantages to the owner was that ignition product sells where you have unlimited tags. You know, so if you want to do some, some higher level functions or bring a considerably higher level of information forward to the operations people, it's not cost prohibitive as it would be with some of the other products that are out there. Untypical of most projects, I don't get any phone calls which is unusual for an integrator in this kind of an environment. You know, typically when you go out and you redo a, a whole process area for a client, 
you know, three months to as long as six months after the fact, you're typically getting some follow-up phone calls for, for dot and I's and cross and T's, you know, or you have operating system related issues with the, the SCADA software that need to be ironed out, you know, or they're asking you to add on other pieces. I mean, literally, I think we had one phone call within the first 30 days over a minor issue that took 15 minutes in the field to, to resolve, and the system has just run since then. We never have to reboot it, it just runs like a top.